Hi guys, we're back for another beta version of Keto in the Kitchen with Jasmine. And today we're going to be cooking pan-seared salmon with a side of steamed broccoli. Welcome back. Okay, so today I just want to show you how I have my kitchen set up. So I got everything set up for my meal and I'm going to go ahead and show that to you now. So the first thing I'm going to do is fillet the salmon. I've never done this before, so let's give it a shot and see if it works out. Here's one of my salmon fillets. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it by its end. There's no fin on it, but I'm gonna grab it with a paper towel and I'm just gonna cut the skin off. So I'm gonna lay it skin side down and I'm going to take my knife and just try to get the flesh off. So I didn't quite do it the way the YouTube video showed me. I did try, but I hacked it up. We're going to try a different method, which is we're going to go ahead and take these fillets and we're going to put them in the pan and we're going to fry them with the skin on. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add salt and pepper into a bowl I already have out. I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of pepper, and I'm going to add half of that to a cold pan. Okay, so I have my salt and my pepper added to the pan. Now I'm going to turn the gas stove on to medium high. And I'm going to allow it to heat up and then I'm going to add the filet one at a time because I have two. So I'm not sure if this is the right way to do it, but I actually did it with the uh, fillet side down first. And then in about six to eight minutes, I'm going to go ahead with my tongs and I'm going to flip it over and get the skin side of it. And like I said, I'm not a chef. I'm just someone who loves cooking and likes to eat healthy. And because I'm diabetic, I actually have to eat healthy. So I'm just trying to teach you guys some of my recipes and hope you'll enjoy them as much as I do. One of my favorite chefs is Gordon Ramsay and basically what he said is when you're cooking salmon or you're cooking fish what you want to do it's easy to tell with salmon because it's pink. You can tell it's cooking because you look at the bottom of it and it's cooked halfway up and you know it's time to flip it. So I'm going to show you what it looks like right now. I flip the salmon to where the skin is skin side down and uh, the salmon itself has a really nice crust of salt and pepper. Looks really delicious. While we're waiting, I'm going to cut up the cilantro and I'm going to put it in my food processor, the entire thing, including the stems, because I like to try to use everything that I can when it comes to meat that's left over or plants, produce, anything like that, any kind of herb, so that it doesn't go to waste because it's all edible. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the cilantro in half and I'm going to put it in my food processor. I like to make sure that my herbs are well placed in my food processor so it's well balanced and it processes well. While the fish is finishing cooking, I'm going to do the broccoli and I've set up my steamer so I'm going to give you a look at that. It's really easy to steam. All my steamer really is is a pot with a steamer on top and I'm going to show you. I've turned my burner on for my broccoli and I'm going to let that steam for probably about 20 minutes and check for tenderness. And then when it's done, I'm going to take it off of the stove and I'm going to plate it. One thing I've mentioned that I've read is that fish needs an internal temperature of 145 so that you know it's cooked and it's not raw. It's really hard to see, but the thermometer rates 145. 
I plated my fish because it's cooked and I added the second filet to the pan. This is what the cooked filet looks like. So let's give it a taste and see how it tastes. Mmm, yummy. I love it. I'm not able to get the camera settings just right, but if you can see this, this is the filet and it is cooked and it tastes really good. My broccoli's finished and my fish is also finished. So one filet is actually a little bit more seared than the other, and that's because I cooked it at a higher flame. The first one I cooked at a lower flame because I was afraid that it wasn't going to cook properly. And I wanted to make sure it cooked all the way through and didn't just, you know, burn on the outside. But the second one, I actually followed the directions and the directions said to sear it at a higher temperature and that's what it did and it took less of a cooking time and it looks pretty good. And that's this one here. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. So what we're going to do now is make the sauce for the fish and also the broccoli. Okay, I'm going to pull up the recipe here that I created. And what it basically calls for is coconut oil. So I'm going to use one tablespoon of coconut oil. This is Luana. It's organic. I like to use organic as much as I possibly can. So like I said, one tablespoon of coconut oil. I think I added just a little bit more than one tablespoon, but that's okay. I like to make it up as I go. Next, I'm just going to cut half of the stick of butter. And I have a really unique way of doing it. So what I do, I can't really get the surface right, but I take the knife and I just cut it. You gotta be really careful. Kids, don't copy me. You have to cut it all the way down until it falls apart. Take the knife out and there you go. Easy peasy. So this is my garlic paste and what it basically is is about 30 cloves of garlic with three tablespoons of olive oil blended really fine and then I put this in this jar so that I can add it to recipes when I want. I do use garlic cloves but what I'm doing is um, it's a diff different method which I'll show you at a later date. So for this I'm going to take about one. That's my one. <laughs> and a half tablespoons of garlic paste. Now I'm going to add two tablespoons of lemon juice. It doesn't matter what kind of lemon juice you get. Um, I just use the Kroger brand, but I'm gonna add about two tablespoons, and you know how my tablespoons are raw. And I'm gonna add them. And then I'm going to get my next ingredient. So I need two one half teaspoons of salt and pepper. So one half teaspoon each of salt and pepper. And I'm going to add that. Some people like to cook with more salt, but I really don't like to cook with more salt. One, because I have high blood pressure and I don't want to increase my blood pressure. And also because if I just add a little bit of salt and pepper to it, um, whoever tries my dishes can actually add their own if they like it and there's not too much if they don't really like salt or they don't really like pepper. So I kind of leave, leave it up to the other person's choice. Next I'm going to add one teaspoon each of garlic and onion powder. And next I'm going to make a Dijon mustard, but because I'm diabetic, I can't have the sweeteners. And so what I use is sugar-free pancake syrup and also yellow mustard. And I mix those two together, which I'm going to do now. So it's a teaspoon of yellow mustard, and then it is sugar-free original, and you can use whatever kind you want, but this works for me. And I'll show you what it looks like in a minute. So this is my one teaspoonful of Dijon mustard, and I'm just going to add this to the pan or to the pot. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add one half cup. I'm not sure if you can see this. I'm going to add 
not getting really good light here. I'm going to add, well anyway, it's one half teaspoon of Pinot Grigio. You can see that. I'm going to add one half cup. My next step is to add one half cup of organic vegetable broth. I like vegetable broth better than I do um, chicken broth just because it has so much more flavor. It really brings out the flavor in your dish. So even when I'm making gravy, I'm going to use vegetable broth because it's delicious. Okay, so my last ingredient is paprika. And I'm going to add just one teaspoonful of paprika to the dish, and then I'm going to show you what the pot looks like. Oh, the aromas are so amazing, and I'm going to post this recipe online for you so you guys can try it too. The lighting isn't really that good. Um, it's nice that the sunlight is coming through, but it's kind of brightening everything, and maybe I just don't know how to play with the lighting. But um, so anyway, what I have done is I have this is You can see the cilantro in there. And I'm just going to go ahead and pour it over top of the fish and then also the broccoli. So you can actually divide this, the sauce. It doesn't have to be just, you know, all for the fish or all for the broccoli. It's going to be nice because it's going to pair together. So I'm going to do that. And then I'll show you the recipes. And sorry, that's really bad lighting. I just played with the lighting to see if I could fix it. And you can still see a great deal of sunlight coming through. Well, I can't hear me very much. So that concludes our second beta show today of Keto in the Kitchen with Jasmine, and I hope that you have enjoyed this recipe. I know I enjoyed making it, and I love bringing these recipes to you guys. So if you have any suggestions, tips, or ideas, or anything that you want me to try, just let me know. Post it in the comments down below. If you happen to like these videos, hit like and subscribe and share. Thanks, guys.